guys and welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well as you can see from the title this is my 20 slash 21 week pregnancy update i did miss week 19 not really sure why i missed it i just forgot to film it basically hold my hands up i forgot um i've been trying to sort this room out which is why it looks a bit different behind me um this is currently my office but it is going to be the baby's room which is why there is the bookcase is gone there's a pile of stuff there. The cupboard of shame is now a cupboard of baby stuff. So yeah, it's been a busy few weeks, but I'm currently 21 weeks, just over 21 weeks. So I thought I would do my week 20 and 21 update now. Um, so yeah, I use the baby center website to give you guys the information because I'm not very good at remembering things. So I'll just quickly read out a few little tidbits about the baby on week 20. Um, oh, excuse me. If it's your first time here, I'm Lucy. Hi, how's it going? I have two little girls who are three and four, and I am pregnant with a boy. Now, welcome. Um, so up until now, the baby is measured from crown to rump, but from this point onwards will be crown to heel. And this week your baby measures about 10 inches or the length of a banana. Banana's 10 inches? Banana's 10 inches? I'm doubting that. Bananas we buy definitely aren't 10 inches. Um, and weighs about 10.6 ounces or 300 grams. And we're halfway through. For me, I'm actually over halfway through because this baby will be a planned C-section, which will be scheduled for, I'm assuming, 39 weeks. But if he's like his sisters, he's going to come a bit earlier. So, over halfway. Woo -woo. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It says, if you're still going for your first kick, um, your baby is busy flexing and stretching. I have been feeling kicks properly now for about four or five days. Like, definite, like, there's a rhythm to it. And, like, this morning, I literally sat on the sofa because both the girls were at nursery today. It's the first full day of both girls being at nursery all day. And I sat on the sofa for, like, an hour watching telly. And it was just constant kicking. So, um, that was nice. But it says, um, it doesn't matter if you haven't felt it now. Especially if it's your first baby, you might not be know what you're feeling for. But, and it depends on what way, where your placenta is, where the baby's facing. If the baby's back is on your front, they might be kicking into your back. So you may not feel it as much. Um, but yeah, don't worry if you haven't felt your baby kick by now. Because um, I think it's between, sort of anywhere between 18 and 22 weeks is when you're generally, for your first baby, meant to feel kicks. Um, the anomaly scan has taken place. We went for that two weeks ago? No. A week ago. Was it a week ago? Yeah, a week ago. A week ago today. And everything was absolutely fine. The man scanning us was the same man who scanned me with my first little girl. And he, um said that he is pretty sure it's, an, it's a little boy, which we already found out at a gender scan earlier on, a private one. But everything was fine, the baby's measuring fine. We did get a picture, which I'll try and put on the screen now. Ben wanted to get um, like a face on one of the baby, where they look really creepy, but the baby wouldn't stay still to get that one. So rather than getting the traditional side on profile, where the baby looks like a bean and so you get the profile nose he went for i let him choose what he wanted um he went for one of the baby's spine which was really cool uh, bah, bah, bah. what else have we got a whitish coat of slick fatty substance called vernix uh, begins to cover the baby it's like a moisturizer uh, and it helps play a role by easing the baby down the birth canal this baby will not be coming down a birth canal he will be coming out of a belly flap <laughs> like his sisters did that is week 20 um my symptoms for week 20 were pretty much the same as they have been i haven't had a massive amount of sickness in week 20 i think the last day the day before i was 21 weeks i got up and i felt really really good and we had pancakes for breakfast me and the girls did but then ben cooked scrambled eggs for breakfast and the smell of the scrambled eggs completely and utterly just turned my stomach and then I threw up like the exorcist for like three hours. So eggs are now banned in this house. <laughs> Dippy eggs are okay but scrambled eggs and omelettes, any kind of cooking of eggs is banned because 
oh it was horrible um but other than that it's general just out of breath sciatica is still horrible but sickness is much much less so i'm very very thankful for that um, i'm still taking my medication uh, i don't feel confident to not take it yet i'm trying to wean myself i'm down to two tablets a day yesterday i only had one which was really good so we'll try and i'm trying to wean myself off it i'm hoping that sort of like by 26 27 weeks i can be completely off the medication if the baby plays long and doesn't make me sick uh, so 21 weeks uh, capillaries are forming under your baby's skin slowly turning them from pink to red uh, eyebrows are getting thicker and lips are distinct if you start to feel movements you can look forward to even more acting in the coming weeks uh, and then you'll start to notice a pattern uh, pregnancy symptoms at 21 weeks as you adjust your changing size uh, clumsiness can be expected i keep banging my belly on the sink when i'm trying to wash up um and there's other things what you need to know at 21 weeks uh, there's different things that tells you all about um your birth preferences and stuff which i obviously don't need to look at because i'm having a section let's just see if there's anything else about the baby about the baby placenta has been growing throughout your pregnancy and until this week has been heavier than your baby from this point your baby's growth will dwarf the placentas although the placenta will continue to grow and provide nourishment until your baby is full term so that is week 21 um we've got we started to get more bits for the baby now i bought some baby grows we chose his name we've had his name picked since our second little girl we thought she was a boy until the scan so we had like a boy name and a girl name and when she was a girl we shelved the boy name and so we knew if we had a boy what his name would be however we have been debating constantly on the middle names because i felt ben did as well that i don't know i'm not telling anyone that we're not telling anybody the baby's name so uh, we felt that it needed a middle name and so we've been going through it and I had I suggested a name a few weeks ago and Ben wasn't that keen on it and then I was like okay if he doesn't like that I'll think of something else and I still really liked that name however then I found another name that I had forgotten was on my list from when um, we weren't sure if Ari was a boy or a girl and I just fell back in love with it again so he said he didn't like it and it's been two and four and it's just been really stressing me out because I've just been feeling really disconnected from the baby um that you hadn't got a full name because the girls have been named by now and i know that's silly and lots of people say oh babies you can't name them until they're born or some people don't people some people's babies don't have names for like weeks after they're born and that's fine but for me personally i like to have the name now so that i can kind of there's more of a connection i don't know why it's just everybody's different but that's how i feel and um it's been really getting me down and then today we had a chat this morning we had a chat last night and the night before and then today we've actually decided on two middle names and ben one of them is the name i suggested a few weeks ago that ben didn't like that he now really really loves and then the other one is the name that i am just i absolutely love it i think it's awesome um and ben really likes it alongside the other one so i've said to him he can pick which way round they go whether it goes first name do, do or do and then he's going to choose that so i've said he can do that so i know baby's name now and it's very exciting so we've bought some bits we got the cot out of the loft we've got the moses basket stand we're trying to sort this room out but there is a lot to do still haven't found a buggy still want the expensive buggy <laughs> can't afford the expensive buggy but want the expensive buggy might do the lottery tomorrow um or tonight and see if we can win enough money to buy the expensive buggy we'll see probably won't anyway yeah so there has been a lot going on um and we've obviously renovating the house as well so it's been a pretty stressful few weeks but i feel so much more happier now that i'm not being so sick and that he has his name so yeah if you are currently pregnant let me know if you've chosen the baby's name was there any like did you love a name and your other half was just like no chance and like just pissed on your bonfire has that happened um because one of the names we've chosen when i suggested it ben was like mm -mm 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 -mm. no 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 
but now he's come round and he likes it. So yeah, or he's just lying to shut me up. Either way, I'm happy because the baby gets the name that I absolutely love. So yeah, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've got really bad heartburn as well. That's another thing I should say. It has hit in the last sort of 10 days. It is back with a vengeance. It is horrible. So I'm on medication now for heartburn as well. Um, just because the doctor said the heartburn can then make sickness worse, which is what happened with the girls. So yeah, heartburn medicine is back in my life again. Um, and it's nice not to have the, I was taking the little Tums, like that as their own version of Tums and I was just like eating them like sweets and they weren't really doing anything. So the doctors put me on just a one a day tablet now, which is much nicer. So yeah, let me know how your week's been. Um, and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.